Yeah, Senator Grassley, thanks so much for joining us live from Washington, D.C. right now. We want to talk about just how much pressure, not only politically, but also economically, are Republicans under to get a tax reform bill to the president. Tell us about this. Both from two standpoints. One, politically, because we failed to repeal and replace Obamacare. Now we're going to try again to do that, but, uh, but that's down the road again. So a tax reform was number two on our list, supposed to be done in the summer. Getting it done by Christmas now puts a lot of pressure on. But more importantly, tax cuts for middle class Americans that have not had wage increases like everybody else uh, to spur the economy because uh, during eight years previous we only had one four tenths percent growth we got to grow at three or three and a half percent and uh, this will give a big shot to the economy so to create jobs and to have capital investment to do that uh, is the most important thing that we're trying to accomplish there are so many things in a big debate like this over tax reform. Every, every member of Congress comes with their own thoughts of what's most important. What are you most adamant about including in this bill? I think to make sure that uh, most of the benefits of this goes to middle class uh, Americans. For uh, across the uh, average of the United States, that might be about $1,500 for middle class Americans, for Iowans, including the tax cut, as well as the increased uh, wages that are going to come from reducing the corporate tax rate, about $2,600. For about 52,000 Iowans, of which 85% of them are be, uh, below the $50,000 income level, so 52,000 Iowans, 85% of them, pay that tax penalty. If you don't buy health insurance, uh, we're going to do away with that tax. Well, Senator, switching gears a little bit now to Roy Moore. He, uh, he was twice removed as Chief yes. Justice of the Alabama Supreme Court uh, because he didn't follow higher court orders. Do you think uh, someone like Moore belongs with you in the U.S. Senate? Well, I think I made very clear on Des Moines radio last Friday that he ought to withdraw. I don't think he will withdraw. I don't think he's that type of a person that's going to give in. Uh, but uh, even if he did withdraw right now, his name's still going to be on the ballot. And then if he would get the most votes, which it looks like now he would not be elected, but if he did get elected, then you get to the question of probably there will be charges against him before the Ethics Committee, either before he's seated or after he's seated. And we've had instances at least twice since I've been in the United States Senate where there were two-thirds vote of the Senate to remove somebody, but before we actually cast that vote, they resigned. Exactly. We'll have to see what happens there. We know that uh, the, the uh, nomination for Iowa Secretary of Agriculture, Bill Northey, is still up in the air in uh, the Senate as well. What are you doing to move his nomination forward? Yeah. Senator Ernst and I had conversation on the floor during a vote Monday or Tuesday night with Leader McConnell, who sets the agenda for the United States Senate. He has a list of people that have priorities from the judgeships. And then he has another list for people of sub-cabinet positions. And uh, Northey falls into this category. And we got uh, 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 Senate Leader McConnell to move Northey to the top of that list. Now, that probably will not happen until now the week after uh, Thanksgiving. And that's right. also the week that the United States will be taking up uh, the uh, uh, big tax bill coming out of our finance committee today. And so maybe Northey, there might not be time for him that week, but he's at the top of the list. All right, Senator Grassley, live from Washington this morning. Thanks so much.